Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Hi, right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the Madden cheese. As always, I got some plays for you today out of the Atlanta Falcons defense playbook. Uh, but really, any 4 3 playbook that's a 4 3 base defense should have this play. Uh, the two plays I'm going to show you, rather. But either way, the reason I'm using the Falcons is because I wanted to highlight a playbook that I recently used in Mutt Draft. Um, I took the Falcons mostly because I thought they had a really good offense. Uh, but when I, when I got into the season, I realized that they have one of the worst defensive playbooks uh, that I've ever seen. Um, it really only has maybe like two formations out of the whole thing that I like to use. And none of them are really run stopping. This is the only one that I could say consistently stops the run. I put out a play already uh, earlier in the year, which is my most watched video this year. It's called, I called it the only play you need. And in this formation, or this playbook rather, it was the only play I had. So luckily it lived up to its name. Uh, uh, but I actually had to get creative and use some new adjustments that I didn't put out in the original video. Uh, so I'm going to go over that today. The play itself is the FS Fire 3 Press. Um, like I said, I did record the Super Bowl from that. And I'll go ahead and I'll pop a link for that right now. I'll also put it in the description. And I'll also put... Um, a link for the uh, original video if you wanted to watch that, if you didn't catch that, um, as well as in the description too. So those you can watch if you want to see this play in action or the full breakdown. Uh, but the way that I'm using it right now, I think I pretty much pitched shutouts through all four games, uh, including the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl, the only way the guy scored, I think, was on a kick return. So this defense here is really shut down. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick the play if I can find it. I think I might have flipped it here by accident. Um, like I said, it's the one at the top there, the FS Fire 3 Press. So the original look that I had, the safety comes down just like you see there um, you can let him come down by himself that's fine but this guy really is going to be my my do it all I mean he's going to be uh, you know he's going to be everything to me um, this entire defense revolves around that safety so like I said make sure he's your best player I probably could have put Keanu Neal there who's a really good player but it doesn't really matter he can stay where he's at but you can see the strong safety who typically in the defense that i run uh, in cover three is typically a down the box guy so you want to make sure that he's got some athleticism and range too so i'm happy that i have count o'neill back there but either way uh, the only adjustments i really made in the previous setup was i would move this guy out a little bit just because i wanted him to have a little more opportunity to get to the sideline seeing as he's a linebacker and they don't really cover that well unless you have a really good athlete with a really high zone uh, they typically don't cover to the edge really well so I like moving him out a little bit it's really up to you how far I find that for run defensive purposes moving him out here is probably best so that you still have a pretty good run setup because what you're essentially trying to do here is you're creating what looks like a 4-4 four, four, um, because 3-4 itself is good but now that you have a safety down the box it really looks like a four uh, four linebacker four defensive end set much better against the run um, and then you notice I also move this safety down a bit uh, which you know that's up to you he's fine where he's at he'll get decent um, he'll decently contain the run, but he'll get a better pass rush if you're going to send him in on a pass rush anyway, uh, moving him out here and down the line of scrimmage. He'll get that, that edge a little bit better. But that's up to you, and that's not what I'm going to do here anyway. Uh, typically, if it's a uh, two tight end set like it is here with a running back in the backfield, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit A, and I'm going to hit up on the right stick, and I'm going to man him to the running back. Um, and that's basically going to make him that much better against run defense. It's going to take away any flats or any, uh, you know, any type of flat routes that this guy might be uh, employed in. Uh, man cover, he's, if he's in a... a uh <laughs> slurring my words if he's in a um a screen play he'll he'll play that better too um say he's to the screen to the right here he'll come and blow that up uh but he's really going to do everything if there's a slot receiver say this is a three wide receiver set and i use this you can see in that video i use this for everything up to a four wide receiver set but if it's a slot receiver i'll man him to the slot receiver i'll show you that later on when there's a slot receiver right in this area here I'll man him in like a cross man scenario where I'll kind of keep him in the middle and he'll shut that down. Or if I bring him outside on him and he says he's running the outside route, he'll shut that down too. And then that'll basically leave me, say there's a single tight end in that scenario, where I'll cover the tight end uh, as well as the middle. So um, it's like I said, it's a really flexible defense, but unlike the cover two invert style of defenses that I put out this year, you're not going to have to worry about over the middle. Like in the, in the cover two invert plays that I put out, uh, which are also very effective, really good. I'm not trying to say that they're not. But um, in those plays, I have to be aware of the deep half of the field, which sometimes can get you beat if you're not, if you don't play that well. Where this one here, you don't. So this one here is like that. It's a really shut down defense, but it's even easier. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll run this one time. We'll see if they, uh, what the computer does here. So first play, it's a run. It's about a yard. That's a, it's going to have good run fits. So here we got a three tight end set. 
Um, this year I'd probably leave them just to go in, just because, um, just because it's a uh, a three tight end set. It's probably going to be a be a run. So I would love for this guy to come off that edge. But like I said, it's a really flexible defense. A little bit of pre snap reads is all you need. Um, here he is running it. Gets a couple yards. Gets caught up. Yeah, I'm not going to run this too many times because I did show something like this before. Um, and I'll show you a second play out of this that I was mixing in to kind of confuse looks and coverages. And uh, there we go. We got that Manning Manning safety all over that for a loss. So here we go. Three tight end set. Really obvious. We're going to run it back. Probably going to be a run here. We'll see. And we got a pass. And I managed to the running back, but maybe I didn't. He got in there. This play is not really designed to get the most pressure. It's just, it's just a straight, uh, you know, four-man blitz. Or a four-man uh, four getting sent, so. And there we go. That's safety. Like I said, if you man him, he's just going to take care of that run pretty much by himself. So I'll go ahead and run once or twice more. Here's another scenario. I'm going to flip the play. They keep doing the receiver on the other side. I mean, I, I'm used to seeing him on the left side, but they haven't done that too often. So I have to flip the play just because of that. Otherwise, you know. And there we go. He's got to take that short underneath for a couple. So here we go. We got another slot guy. So got to flip it. If you have auto flip on, it'll probably make it even easier. I don't run auto flip, though. I find for the most part that messes up your defense, so. I'm not going to, um, and there we go. It's just a shutdown, shutdown run D right there. So we'll go ahead and we'll move on. I'll show the other play I was mixing in. Like I said, I was really, when I played this series, I was really labbing on the fly. Um, and at times I felt like when the quarterback was trying to get rid of the ball really fast, I found that the uh, the Mike Will cross press was a really good option. And I'll show you how I ran that. Uh, this is one in the middle there. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick that. And uh, we'll just keep going. Uh, we'll keep going. We'll go random pissed. I don't know. Random gun. So this is obviously going to be a pass heavy um, formation right here. So it got to the point where I really felt like if the guy was um, was running, you know, a lot of, of quick throws that it was best to just run this defense and uh, zone all the uh, zone all the linebackers. You see how there creates a huge cluster in the middle. Um, I still found that it was an option to put Allen on the uh, the cross man option and now you still have you have a sim similar look but you have a little bit more coverage to help you out um, you can leave him just like it was I mean like I said if it was like third and ten and I knew he was gonna have to throw most likely over the middle because the outside are gonna be pretty held down with these seam flats I would just leave it just like this but I still feel like the cross man option is really good uh, we'll go ahead and run it one time just like this it's only a three-man blitz. That's something you got to pay attention to. This is something you want to run if somebody is just straight up um, getting rid of it, throwing quick strikes. Um, here, like I said, if it's three wide to one side, I'll take away the uh, this guy here. The reason I'm manning him every time is because cover threes are really vulnerable to um, this guy coming right up the seam. So that's why I'm going to cross-man him pretty much every time uh, just to take that away. And then I'll cover the opposite side for the tight end because most people throw to the tight end anyway. There he gets a you know a yard at best. But yeah, this is definitely a harder to diagnose um, because it looks like a cover two or a cover four. So it's it's good to mix in because it looks like a different coverage entirely. Get in there, bro. Catch that he seeking missile. So, like I said, anytime I see a uh, slot receiver on that side, I'm going to take him away with the man. Um, and then I'm going to use the, 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 the tight end. That's where most runs or most plays go. The tight end, the slot, and the running back. The three most places that the that the, your, your opponent's going to throw the ball are going to be slot, receiver, and tight end. And this man option is really designed to take away uh, one of those three every time and leave you one-on-one -on -one with whoever's left. Like in this scenario, I'm going to try to use it at the tight end. Uh, the computer's going to throw it wherever. Um, as, they, as you see, they loft it up there. That, the, the computer's not like a regular opponent. Regular opponents try to stay in the middle of the field. So here we go. Three wide set again. Real simple read. I cover the tight end. The only guy that really is, is uncovered by me will be Benjamin, uh, which the uh, computer hook curl should take care of. And then if I want to, I could always do like a hard flat for the running backs because they're most likely going to be flaring out anyway. 
So really easy adjustments. You can see how everything's covered here. The computer's got nowhere to go with it. It's not getting a lot of pressure though, so I gotta send a guy last minute and uh, he chucks it up and you know, obviously it's in coverage and the ball comes out. Yeah, I'm not necessarily saying I recommend running this against gun all the time. I'm just giving myself the best challenge possible because like I said, I, I pretty much, this is pretty much what I did in that game. I only really had uh, one formation I was comfortable with and uh, this is it. And you can see, you know, even run plays are all gonna get shut down. Pass plays are going to get um, handled for the most part. Uh, this here, I guess I'll cross man Allen. Or not Allen, Benjamin with Allen. And then I just got to take away that tight end. And you can see here, we're going to get that pick. Let's go. That was tipped by me and then picked by me. <laughs> that was just good defense all around. So we'll go ahead and we'll end it there. Um, that's it. That's the, 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 the two plays. I didn't really show a blitz because, like I said, a lot of people will just get in the ball a lot quick anyway. If you want to blitz, you can leave it just like this um, and you'll get decent pressure. Uh, but I, like I said, I didn't do that too much. It's still a good play. Um, either way, you got two guys coming in in the middle. Um, so that's it. If you guys want to see more defensive plays, do me a favor. Hit the like button. I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Money shit out.